now with this we'll move to the next uh, speakers here uh, we have our guest speakers with us to share how they have unleashed the value of aspen tech solutions to overcome their unique business challenges so we have three speakers here firstly we have mr tango uh, co-founder co-leader specialist uh, from cost engineering department from pt pertamina refinery indonesia uh, he will talk about how they have implemented the class 3 level of estimation using aspen capital cost estimator uh, Mr. Tangu is uh, is over 10 years of experience as specialist cost. Uh, is he's a 10 year, more than 10 years of experience as a specialist cost engineer, and he has been handling various projects, including consultancy ranging from basic engineering, uh, BDP design package, front end engineering design, feed package, as well as project management and construction PMC uh, uh, for the EPCC mega project. Then we have Mr. Peter, who is a principal process engineer and Paolo, uh, special initiative team lead from ENI Progetti. They will talk about how they are fast tracking engineering project execution through Aspen Basic Engineering. Peter and Paolo shared their story last year and we glad to be able to introduce their Aspen Basic Engineering use case to our attendees in our Asia region today. Uh, since then, ENI has upgraded to V12 and train their engineers for enterprise-wide uses and they are in the phase of deploying the actual project. Uh, last but not least, you will hear from Hiromishi-san from JGC Japan. Uh, he is uh, he's working in the piping engineering department. He's a group manager, plus also he is leading the innovation group. And he will talk about JGC's unique challenges to deliver the new value-based basic engineering with OptiPlant software. Uh, so Sakayama-san has a 20 years of piping engineering ex experience for a wide variety of process plants and off-site facilities in the field of petroleum refining, gas processing, and natural gas liquefaction plants, such as uh, he has worked in the countries like Algeria, Vietnam, Indonesia, and so on. Since 2020, he joined in the department uh, management and leading the uh, digital transformation initiatives. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest speakers to the stage. Uh, we start with the presentation from Pertamina, followed by Iena, and then we have a JCC uh, 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 for from the guest speakers here today. Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to say thank you for coming to my presentation. It's great to see you all. Let me introduce myself. My name is Tang Bujoseno and I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm specialist cost engineer in PT Kilang Pertamina International, Indonesia. Today I want to share the subject of my presentation is implementation of class three cost estimation, the SCE preparation based on drawn and engineering design documents using Aspen Capital Cost Estimator and hopefully this will act a springboard for discussion. My talk will be divided into three sections. The first is the definition of class 3 estimate ASCE recommended practice 18097. And the second, we will learn about how to implement class 3 estimation ASCE preparation based on fit documents using Aspen Capital Cost Estimator. And finally, I will explain about how to evaluate and review the ex report. I will sure be glad to answer any questions at the end of my presentation. So. Please hold your questions if you have any questions. This is my presentation. Implementation of Class 3 Cost Estimation ASCE Preparation based on front and engineering design documents using Aspen Capital Cost Estimator. Pertamina is the largest that owned company in Indonesia engaged in this energy sector which has integrated upstream to downstream business, covering from exploration and production, processing, distribution to marketing. There are various kinds of EPC projects built by Pertamina with project value of up to 4 billion US dollar. 
This development process requires a planning stage known as front end engineering design, where the engineering fit document will be used as the basis for calculating capital expense, which will be used as the basis for the preparing budget authorization, known as final investment decision. Aspen capital cost estimator can be used by Pertamina as a tool to estimate this capex requirement with an accuracy range minus 20% up to plus 30% ASE estimate class 3 based on the fit document. Okay, this is the ASE class 3 estimate ASE RPR 10 R97 definition. The definition uh, generally prepared to form the basis for budget authorization, appropriation, and or funding. Um, as such as they typically form the initial contract estimate against which all actual cost and resource will be monitored. Typically engineering is from 10% up to 40% complete and would comprise at a minimum the following like a process for diagrams, utility for diagrams, preliminary piping and instrument diagrams, plot plan and etc. And for the maturity level, this section describes a Okay, this figure is a uh, example of the variability and accuracy range for a process industry estimate. Determination of the cost estimate class. The cost estimator makes the determination of the estimate class based upon the maturity level of project definition, based on the status of specific planning and design deliverables, the percent design completion may be correlated with the status, but the percentage should not be used as the class determinate, while the determination of the status enhanced class is somewhat subjective, having standard for the design input data. Completeness and quality of the design deliverables will serve to make the determination more objective. Typical variation in low and high range after the Application of contingency determined at a 50% level of confidence typically this represents about 80% confidence that the actual cost will fall within the bounds of the low and high range. The estimate confidence interval of accuracy range is driven by the reliability of scope, information available at the time to the estimate in addition to the other variable and risk identified above. Okay, now this is how how to implement class three uh, estimation ACE preparation based on fit documents using ACCE. The first is data collecting. We okay for the data collecting, we have to make sure this requirement in ACCE RP ninety seven for class three should be uh, should be defined. For the project scope definition and we have to make sure for the plan production plan location soil hydrology data integrated project plan project matter schedule escalation strategy and the others data should be defined and for uh, contacting strategy still preliminary is still okay okay the next is for the estimate classification we also make sure uh, this engineering deliverable should be fulfilled the requirement of this uh, recommended practice. For example, the flow diagram have to be complete, port plans, process flow diagram, utility flow diagram, PNID, heat and mass balance, process equipment list, utility equipment list, electrical 19 diagram, specification and data sheet, spare part listing, mechanical uh, discipline drawings, electrical discipline drawings, is, it should be follow these uh, rules because uh, the data in here will be inputted in SCCE as a uh, project databases. Commonly, in my company, we call this uh, is as uh, estimation initiation. We need to the class three estimate process defines how an estimate shall be performed when significant project definition typically ten until forty percent of engineering or end of it pays data is available. 
and the discipline engineer is responsible for the preparation of most major scope. Okay, this is step of input data. The first is project basis. Uh, we can input the data project basis like a general project data, design basis, engineering workforce, construction workforce, indexing, contingency, and etc. Now after that, we can input the process equipment, input mechanical data sheet equipment to expand capital cost estimator such as compressors, pump, tank, vessel, reactor, heat exchanger, separation equipment, and etc. And after that, we can input the plan box, input material takeoff from fit document to SCC such as piping, seal, instrument, electrical, insulation, painting, etc. And if you have the others item like the quoted equipment, it's better to input the input to the SCC system. Uh, and if you have the equipment model, set development bidding and etc. You also input that to the system. Okay, this is the sample project basis and WBS. Uh, we can input the others data like a project basis, project properties, and general project data based on the fit document. Also, the design basis, piping specification, and others scheme, other scheme, and also WBS as per our planning. Okay. This is the input general equipment specification based on fit document. After you receive the fit document from a consultant, uh, you can input the general equipment specification based on fit document to the Aspen Capital Cost Estimator. In here, you can uh, define about how many meters shop fabricated maximum diameter, how many shop fabrication maximum length, how many how many tons shop um, fabricated maximum, how about the pipe fabrication diameter, and how many percent for the well efficiency also design deflection stress relief option. Um, you also can put the design allowance for the general equipment and how many percent rotating equipment spares and based on the fit data you can put all this criteria in here uh, sometimes we need a uh, support from uh, mechanical engineering teams to fill this data Okay, after we put the general equipment specification, we can also input the piping specification based on fit documents. In here, we can define about the pipe fabrication method. We can buy a remote area or uh, 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 remote area or sh shop fabrication, something like that. And in here, we can we have to define about the uh, how many inch diameter for the remote shop minimum diameter we can also define the remote shop maximum diameter how many metals length fitting to the remote shop you you need to fill the uh, how many percent pipe supports in remote shop uh, we can asking to the piping engineer to fill this together sometimes and we can uh, also uh, put the how many percent uh, uh, regarding remote shop productivity based on uh, a company or your experience in this field and we also uh, can define about the testing percent labor uh, insulation jacket type and we also need to define the piping speci specification materials about uh, how about the stress relief option, how many uh, inch diameter for small diameter, maximum diameter, how many percent for the other testing percent labor. We also put uh, how many percent clean and polished percent labor, how about the number of uh, primer codes, uh, how many codes for number of finished codes and sandblast percent area. You can uh, put all the basis from the fit document or the information from the piping engineer to fill this piping specification in project basis in Aspen Capital Cost Estimator. Okay, after we put the 
uh, piping specification from a uh, fit document you can move to the civil specification uh, based on fit document you can uh, asking the civil engineer and you or you can just take a look in fit document how about the general civil and steel specification in this field you can put about the design loss reference code based on the based on the reference or uh, specification civil uh, scope civil specification on fit document you can put about the how the estimate or basis kilometer per hour for one philo velocity how many uh how about the wine load how about the uh, wine force adjustment wine exposure category civil material man hour something like that and also in here you can put the soil loading so soil loading in 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 the, in the basis of civil is that about soft clay firm clay wet sand or sand plus clay dry sands or the sand and gravel you can put uh, the basis data from the fit document and after that you need uh, put the pile drive and depth how many meter pile for drive and depth based on the fit document and after that you also uh, put the uh, type uh, b c d for the concrete strings yes and you can also put uh, the basis how many percent growth quantity adjustment in there and you can define about the seal slab thickness based on fit data and you can put the formwork material cost in us dollar per meter square or backup bracing lumber cost in us dollar per meter cubic and because why because sometimes in in the some countries there is a huge different price maybe for the foam work and bracing and also sometimes there is a, a different price for concrete ready mix cost that's, that's why if you concern about these differences you can put your uh, in-house data or market in market price in your country and you can put that price on this uh, civil uh, specification based on based on that data Okay, after we input the civil specification, we move to input electrical specification based on fit documents. And here we can uh, choose about the type of power supply frequency, class and division, all zone, distribution system type, how many kilovolts for transmission voltage, high voltage, medium voltage. Uh, primary low voltage based on fit data sometimes uh, we need a uh, support for electrical engineering to fill this data uh, to fill this uh, general electrical specification if this data is already exist in fit document we can uh, directly put the data in this general electrical specification but if there is something uh, there is something that we not understand about what we have to put in here we can call the electric engineer to support us to fill this data in here we can also uh, choose about the type of control cable and wire type control minimum wire size control cable conduit option how many yes dollar kilogram for the copper cost because copper cost sometimes the price is fluctuative yeah sometimes very low sometimes times very high so if uh, we need to uh, make this estimate is more accuracy we can put uh, we can put the copper cost in in this uh, general electrical specification also for the lighting illumination we can define how many looks needed uh, in this project we uh, also can put the communication and alarm systems uh, should be have in this project and uh, we can put the public address general alarm is this needed for the telephone system area network system closed circuit television something like that and we also uh, can put the uh, power cable placement in here and we can uh, also uh, put the description of or, or, or type for the barrett cable protection how many kilowatt for the spirit mcc cabinet power 
and how many millimeter cable tray for cable tray width and cable tray material cable tray type and how many percent cable tray should be spare in this project basis we also can put the how many meters cable tray for support spacing uh, we 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 can define about how many percent for the emergency generator load in 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 for in this scheme uh, or scenario for in front and engineering design document. Okay, after the, uh, we put the electrical project basis, we can input the insulation and painting specification based on fit documents, and we can put uh, about the. Uh, uh, type for the equipment insulation type we can choose we can also choose about insulation jacket type in here we can define how many percent for steel fire proofing in field and also for the painting specification we can uh, put the, about the how many percent about the structure still feel touch up and how many percent still sunblast uh, percent area in here after that, we can also input the other information based on uh, company experience or strategy. We can define about the material indexing specification if uh, our company have a database about the price and there is a, a variance between the database that have by SCCE versus database that have by company from vendor quotation and etc. We can also put the our basis about the standard basis in foot file like how many percent contingency should be put in this class estimate okay next after that we can define the schematic and control system and control center uh, the control system and control center we can uh, link to the area uh, based on the philosophy of uh, design in front and engine design document Okay, this is the sampling about if we need a uh, uh, do the modified and control center, we can add the emergency shutdown system, machine dedicated control, tank gauging system, machine monitoring system, as per uh, philosophy design in front and engineering design document. Okay, this is sample input equipment data in SCCE. When we have the pump drivers, for example, in equipment list, if for example, this is the equipment list from feed data. We can uh, put how we can put the wash water cell circulation pump with the type centrifugal pump with the standard APA uh, 610 with the material A8, nice, with the flow 24.6 meter cubic per hour, and etc. We can put the sample equipment data in SCCE. Okay, this is the sample input equipment data in SCCE. We can put all the data in here based on a mechanical data set that you get from the front end engineering data. And after that, you can input plan bulk based on MTO and MTO, material takeoff in fit document. You can uh, add the MTO for the piping, seafield, steel, instrumentation, etc. After that, we can do generate cost as per your requirement. You can choose the type of the report in here based on your needed, based on your review requirement in here, and you can uh, generate cost based on uh, your team requirement. After we get the generate cost, this is the sample SCCE estimate cluster report that uh, I generate uh, from the uh, Aspen Capital Cost Estimator with my sampling project and we can get the total project cost in here. This is the cost bidden structure we get from the data. <coughs> okay, after that we move to the evaluation and review. The first evaluation and review uh, uh, I call in in my company we do the interim review the the purpose of interview interim review meeting is to review the progress of the class 3 estimate preparation activities the number of interim meetings should be established during the kick-off meeting the goals of this Space is obtained by in to the labor man hours labor rate and productivity used in the estimate and key scope item input into the estimate 
and the next is to complete the detail the detail estimating checklist review all estimate assumptions clarifications and exceptions identify areas of improvements for the class 3 estimate the lead estimator checks and coordinates all interface issues in here between disciplines and report back if any and the detail estimating checklist is finalized during these meetings the lead en the lead engineer the lead estimator i mean is to include all assumptions clarifications and exceptions in the detailed uh, bill uh, basis of estimate the interim review meeting deliverable shall include yeah, but not limited to class 3 estimate as developed to date with mtos by area and wbs or work bidden structure and the next is class 3 estimate basis class 3 estimate detailed schedule and a, a list of all scope changes identified to date the list will include itemized scope changes with the justification and cost impact for each deviation item multidiscipline drawing also for make sure that our estimate is already uh, based on updated pro process for diagram pnid plot plan and one and diagram and etc major equipment quotations is is need uh, to be checked if uh, we put the sum quotation price on SCCE file and the next a recent quotation for engineering and construction rates and also all discipline material takeoff by area and wbs market outlook study and project risk assessment as required this is the part of the deliverables of the inter uh, interim review uh, meeting deliverables an initial an initial uh, screening review will assess if the scope was quantified completely ensuring that the estimate is documented correctly comprehensive basis of estimate is prepared and the estimate is consistent with it and that is adheres to project contact and or company guidelines this purpose uh, for the review for the chief estimator to review the estimate is is have some goals here uh, like a review and completion of detail review package in, in in this space we can also check the basis of estimate against estimating plan check and approve all assumptions clarification check of total install cost estimate against historical benchmark and ratios from the our previous project and in here we can also check and approve escalation calculations risk model or and contingency used and in here we can also check and approve other costs in okay ladies and gentlemen um that is all my presentation thank you very much for your great attention ladies and gentlemen thank you for your listening may all those we have shared uh, be beneficial for all of us thank you